Welcome back to the Jack Racing YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can go door to door racing for less than a thousand dollars. So if you go back a couple weeks on my channel, you'll see I made a video talking about what it costs to start racing like this, weekly stock car racing. This is going to be a little different and a lot cheaper. We're talking about enduro racing. the wheel of a car for less than a thousand dollars, race door to door with other people, and maybe win some big money. These enduro races happen all over the country. Find your local short track, I guarantee they'll have one of these types of races at least once a year. Maybe a couple more times, but at least once a year usually. They usually have them on like a like a night of destruction, demo derby, crash arama, whatever you want to call it, they all call it something different. You can get out there and race with just a little bit of work and a little bit of courage. So basically what an enduro race is, is you take old junkyard cars that are on their last legs, you gut the interiors, you put a couple of things in for safety, and you take them out with like sometimes a hundred other cars, and you race for usually a hundred, two hundred laps, something like that. That's why they call it an enduro race. Most of these races are going to be four or six cylinder cars, so you're going to want to look at your tracks rule book, see what they allow and what they don't allow, and then start looking from there. We're going to start looking at Facebook Marketplace. This is where you can find mostly any sort of old car. Um, type in like Demo Derby, Need Gone Today, Mechanic Special, anything like that. You'll find something pretty cheap. When I did this last, I bought a 2006 Ford Focus for $300. It had been in an accident, the rear end was damaged, but it still ran perfectly fine. The guy didn't have insurance, he had no way to fix it, so he sold it at a loss and I profited because I got a race car out of it. So basically what you have to do, again, read your rule book because they might be different. You take the interior out, you take the headlights, the tail lights, and all the glass out of the car. Now here's the thing, you can make some money back on some of this stuff if you sell it. So take a little bit of care when you take the stuff out, list it on Marketplace, you might even get your money back for the whole car, who knows. But for this purpose, we're gonna say $500 is what it takes to get one of these cars, just ballparking. Um, like I said, you might make some money back, you might spend a teeny bit more, but it's all it all balances out in the end. So what you want to do when you're looking for one of these cars is look at videos, go to one of the races, see what kind of car is fast at your track. Because some of these little cars do better on quarter miles, some do better on half miles, some do better on dirt. So just see what your track is, look up what people have won with in the past, and try and find something like that. So now that you've got the interior, the glass, the headlights, the taillights, all of that out of the car, we're going to talk about safety. You're going to need to get, usually, and I would highly recommend this if it's not in the rule book, you're going to need a piece of roll bar tubing that's going to go across the pillars. So we're talking like right here on the inside of the car into the other side. So you want that center part of the car to be as strong as possible. So you're going to weld a piece of roll bar tubing in across there. In case you get T-boned, you don't want that thing coming in on you. The next thing you're going to want to do is get some angle iron and you're going to weld it or bolt it, I guess, if you have to. Just do something, get it on the side of the car, on the door. Make sure it goes past the door, either to the fender or to the rear door, if you have one. But make sure you have bracing on that door. That's the last thing you want to do is get T-boned in that door and end up getting hurt doing something we're supposed to be doing for fun. This is all going to probably cost 100 bucks. Let's say $100 to get the materials and have someone weld it in if you can't do it. Don't skimp on this, this is safety. It's not gonna be any fun if you get hurt. The next thing we're gonna talk about is safety equipment for you. You need a helmet to do this, and I'm gonna recommend getting a fire suit because these are old cars and you never know. I know some tracks allow you to wear just long sleeve t-shirts and jeans. That's not my style. Yes, it's more comfortable, but is it worth it if your car catches on fire? Those jeans and the t-shirt aren't saving you. So you're gonna to wanna to get a fire suit. You can get them pretty cheap, we're gonna budget $200 for a fire suit and a helmet. Want some gloves too, definitely get some gloves. Anything on your hands, because if you gotta get out of that car when it's hot, and you grab onto something hot, it's not gonna feel good. So make sure you have proper safety gear on you to make sure you don't get hurt. A lot of tracks allow you to use just the factory seat and seat belt, but most of you have probably been in a car that's like 20 years old. The seat belt hardly does anything, and the seat's usually really flimsy, so 
highly, highly, highly recommend taking that seat out and getting a good racing seat. Again, you can go on Marketplace for this. You can find them pretty cheap and you're gonna want some seat belts. Get at least a four point harness, something to hold you in that seat a little better. These races can get a little bit rough sometimes. You don't wanna take the chance. So get some good seat belts in a seat. I'm budgeting $200 for this. And trust me, $200 is a lot cheaper than medical bills if you end up going to the hospital. So we're at $1,000 right now, but we're not at the track yet. So you're taking some of the money that you got from selling the interior, the headlights, whatever. You need 100 bucks. That's all we need at this point to get to the track and get into the show. 50 bucks gets you a trailer at U-Haul or Penske or any of those places. And the other $50 covers your entry fee. Most of these races do have entry fees. But if you finish well, you get paid out. So you might even get that back too. But work a little bit, sell some of those parts, get that 100 bucks, and we're going racing. We're $1,000 in, and you're going door-to-door -door racing with a bunch of other people. And let me tell you, these things can be a little bit scary and intense sometimes, but they are fun. Some of the best adrenaline rushes I've ever had in a race car came from enduro racing. I'll show you a video I got out once. My hands were shaking. I was smiling. I was having the best time. I had just finished my first enduro race and it was a blast. Sometimes these tracks will do different things. They'll put obstacles out there. They'll make you run backwards. They'll do like a chicane. It's for a thousand dollars. It's really like the most fun you can have in a car. And the good news is if you wreck it, you're not out thousands of dollars like a real race car. You go back on marketplace, you find another car, you're back out there next time. It's a cheap way to get a taste of what door to door racing is like and not have to worry about tearing up expensive equipment. All right guys, hopefully this was helpful for you, informational, maybe you wanna go out and try it. Let me know if you've done an enduro race or plan to do an enduro race. I love hearing these kind of stories. So let me know what you got going on. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll be back out in a week with this car back at New Smyrna Speedway after our great finish last week. Check out some of the other videos, see how our racing season's going. Thank you for watching. See you next time.